We've got quite a few things um, in the works, but the first key ones that we've identified with a lot of interest from um, the community is our upright technology. Essentially, that's used to drive the car and it can potentially be used to can be uh, developed into a hybrid retrofit kit conversion for uh, mass produced cars, which we are currently working on uh, moving further with that, with a couple of interested parties um, in Australia. When we were looking at the development of the solar car, we came to the realisation that traditional hub motors, which are used in most solar races, wasn't really ideal for this application. We've had to find a way of emulating that hub motor, while at the same time allowing for greater performance, particularly with regards to acceleration. And the Upright team, led by Ran Chenery, has done a fantastic job of taking the Upright and integrating into that Upright the power source, which is the motors, and the transmission to the hub. Um, and this has become a technology that we can now see being uh, very well suited to other applications, particularly where people would like to have an easy module that they can bolt onto an existing vehicle, be it a brand new vehicle or a, a vintage vehicle, uh, that can allow them to convert that vehicle into a hybrid or an electric vehicle with great ease. And it comes from that modularity. Uh, my name is Ron Chenery, and I work on the transmission of the ABX solar car. The constraint design approach uh, was used in the development of the upright because it allowed for the main constraints of the design to be clarified at the beginning of the project and then competing constraints such as mass and size footprint to be optimised as the design was continued. And the size was a uh, large constraint as well because uh, the smaller the form factor of the transmission, the more translatability we would have to other car models and other suspension designs and, and so on and so forth. Uh, the design can be translated to other motor vehicles. Uh, each different car will present a different set of criteria that need to be satisfied for the transmission and these, uh, these criteria can be used as points of customization for the model which can then be used to create a transmission for that car which can then be translated across to each of those designs.